Okay, welcome back. We're going to talk about one of the most popular questions that I get, and that is bonding a RV canopy using Sikaflex. Well, it's a great way, it's a great option to do it when you have a steel frame and a plexi canopy, so I'll show you how we did it. So what we're trying to do is prevent cracks and it's not to say that you can never get cracks with Sikaflex but you can see here where there's a hard fastener and a crack has started. It's a very common thing on RVs, you got a big temperature variation and it's a lot of pressure on the canopy. Uh, so here's the RV6 that I built uh, a while ago and I did use Sikaflex on that one. So has it ever caused a crack? Well of course uh, it has cracks so there's other key things we need to talk about. Uh, first of all, here's the advantages. Yeah, infinite fasteners. It's easy if you ever get a bird strike to replace the canopy and it looks better, I think. Disadvantage, it is messy. Preparation, like painting, everything is key. It is a new technique and it's a, it's a hard mindset to beat. So like I mentioned, uh, one of the real keys to not getting a cracked canopy is properly finishing the edge of your canopy. So this should be silky smooth with no visual um, scratches or pits anywhere and I go all the way to 2000 grit sandpaper when I'm finishing the edge of that canopy. So that's really key. Here's the product we're gonna use. It's a Sikaflex 295 UV for ultraviolet protection. It's gonna go with this uh, cleaner activator 205. And then the most important one is the uh, 209 primer. And you can see from the cost of it that it is very important. Do not do it without the primer. Uh, where do we recommend this? Well, here's the RV8 with the fastback. I don't recommend Sikaflex on the fastback uh, because you have a fiberglass frame. Uh, here's the fastback mod there. And Sikaflex requires a little bit of gap in between the frame and the plexiglass. So that's one location where I, I don't recommend using Sikaflex, but instead using uh, Hysol, uh, which is available from Aircraft Spruce. So that's where we recommend it when we got a steel frame and a plexi canopy, not the fastback option. Uh, simply because here, the strength of the Sikaflex comes from having a small gap between the frame and the actual canopy, uh, creating that nice bond. So if there's no gap, high saw is the better choice. Uh, we do, are gonna drill some holes uh, to keep the canopy in the proper position. So we need, need to use the proper bits. Those are plexi bits. So we aren't gonna install any fasteners, but I do drill holes through the canopy, through the canopy frame, so that I can put it back in the same spot every time and I can hold it in a pre precise uh, position for drying. So there's about six to eight Clicos on each side. And we have a little gap in between the canopy frame and the canopy itself that I'll show you later with the spacers. Here's another part that you can get from Aircraft Spruce, some fine line tape. This is really good stuff. Uh, it would be important when we're applying the black primer to the canopy. So all the way around the edge where we want the black primer to stop. And then we're gonna cover that with other masking tape, multiple layers of the fat masking tape so that we can sand it. And then we can apply the black primer and then remove the masking tape afterwards. So just like anything else, just like painting an aircraft, there's lots of preparation uh, to do it properly. And the fine line tape is gonna give you a nice finish. Like I said, one of the advantages of Sikaflex is the aesthetics from the outside. And that's that black primer that's gonna look really nice. So we tape off the canopy frame as well, where we don't want the black primer to spill over. And now we're ready to clean it and start priming. So we sand the canopy itself and the frame. It doesn't have to be a very coarse grit. This is uh, about 150 emery cloth that I use just to scuff the edge of it so we get some nice adhesion of the primer. No need to overdo it, uh, but then we are gonna clean it with the uh, 205 cleaner activator. So here's the activator, it's clear. Just use a clean rag to put it on, give it 10 minutes to dry. 
All right, here's the spacers that we're going to use, and this is actual pitot line. You can use pretty much anything. You can use a fuel line. I like the pitot line because it's small and we can take it out later. So there's all the holes that were drilled into the canopy frame itself. Uh, the spacers are about 3 sixteenths, 3 sixteenths of an inch thick. And here's the primer that we're going to use, the 209D, which is recommended for plexiglass. Now we're going to prime the canopy frame itself and the canopy. And then that sits about 20 to 30 minutes before we're ready to start actually bonding the Sycaflex. It just doesn't need to be a thick coat. It just needs to be enough to, uh, to coat it. You can use a paintbrush. You can use a foam brush. See how important the masking tape is there because it is a messy job. And now from the outside, the aesthetics, that black will look really nice. So it gives you a nice finish as well. And we'll just take the tape off. Now we have the canopy frame done and the canopy done primed. And now it's time for the messy part. So here they are all clecoed back together. And that's the importance of having all the holes. Every once in a while, you'll see a clamp and a spacer. Uh, just because the spacing of the canopy, I wasn't really happy with it at that point. I wanted it to be a little bit tighter. So I put another spacer and a clamp in there. So now we're ready to bond. There's a couple ways you can do this. You can just bond the whole bottom right over top of the fasteners. It's okay if those little pedal spacers are trapped in the frame forever. Uh, but in my case, I bonded actually between them and then removed the, um, the spacers later and then went back and filled in with the Sycaflex. Now, important thing here is that this skins over fairly quickly. Uh, by the book, it's an hour, but I actually find it's a bit quicker than that. Obviously, it depends on moisture, which how this stuff cures. So every foot or two feet, I go in with uh, some kind of popsicle stick or some kind of uh, other tool to drag it smooth and contour it right away before it skins over. If you let it skin over, it'll be messy. So in between each little fastener, go ahead and stick a flex. Let that dry. We'll talk about the drying time here at the end. And then flip the canopy over and stick a flex the other side of the frame as well. And now we have a really nice uh, tight bond. And once it's all dry, we'll take all the clecos out. We'll take the spacers out if you want to, and then finish it up. So drying time, uh, you can see that by this chart, you know, if you leave it for a week, you're definitely safe, which is what I do. I let it sit for a whole week and, and work on other projects. Um, but really kind of that two to four days, you're probably okay, but you definitely don't want to overdo it. So that's how you Sycaflex the canopy. Uh, we're going to do it again on the next project and we'll make a bit more video. So hopefully that helps you out. Build something, take it for it, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.